Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington. There have been dramatic developments overnight in the Mideast as the Israelis step up air and artillery strikes, now firing missiles into southern Gaza, an area where they'd earlier urged residents to evacuate, as well as the occupied West Bank and two airports in Syria. There are still five to 600 Americans trapped in Gaza and at least 10 Americans who are unaccounted for and potentially hostages of Hamas. Plus, there are clashes at Israel's northern border with Lebanon, home to the Iranian-backed terror group Hezbollah. Overnight, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin deployed additional air defense systems in response to recent attacks on U.S. troops in the region.